um, this will be pretty easy. We're not going to press these accordingly. Yeah. yeah, he was. Yeah. And PJ's working so many hours, I think he's never awake. Yeah. Um, he said he had something to take care of. So, here's what we're doing tonight. I'm going to keep it fairly limited because we're missing a bunch of us um, this evening. But uh, we're going to pull our overdrive apart, although we are not going to take our internal punches out. We're going to do that on, uh, on Monday of next week. And we're going to split the valve line. We're not going to pull the valve out of it, but we are going to want our rags there because we are going to have it in a couple of different sections on here when we're done. The first thing we're going to do, though, leave the valve line alone, don't touch that yet. But the first thing we're going to do is get our um, overdrive apart. Now, the first thing we need to get into is there are some outer clutches here. These are the overdrive clutches themselves, not the direct drive ones. They're easy to get into. You don't need anything special. This little ring is real weak. Just a piece of wire. The only reason this is there is so things don't fall out of it when you try to put it back together. It doesn't physically hold anything together. Nothing pushes against it. So we'll take that out, lay it down. Now these clutches right here are the most likely to get destroyed if you tow with your overdrive on. Because what ends up happening is hydraulic pressure comes out and squeezes these guys right here. And what you'll see is there's not really that many of them. There we go. There we go. How many clutches did I get for my overdrive? Three. Three. All of my boat, whole family, all my stuff in the back, and how many clutches am I using? Three. Uh, yeah. Don't tow an overdrive if you have an older Dodge. I'm talking about Durango's, Rams, and stuff from the 90s, even the real early 2000s. Okay, if I go a little bit further down, I'm going to find my snap ring. Again, these things are usually weak enough, you can press on them with your thumb and pop them right out. I'm going to set those right there. There's my overdrive. Here's the neat thing with this transmission though. If somebody burns up their overdrive and they don't keep driving, or sometimes they do, but it starts to slip and it starts to burn up, um, you can fix it really quickly and really easily. Pull the drive shaft off, unbolt this. You can leave the transmission in the car, slide this out, rebuild the overdrive, slide it back in without taking the transmission apart. You can even get to the piston back here that's responsible for applying the overdrive. You can do the seals in it too. Ooh. It's kind of a neat thing. There's a few Ford transmissions too where you can rebuild part of them inside the car without taking them apart. Okay, next thing I need though is this overdrive unit inside here. It's retained by a bearing. So what I'm going to do to get it out is you're going to set this up on end. I typically set these things over the leg on the table. So if I have it in the middle of the table, when this thing falls out and make a bunch of noise, this will make it a little bit quieter and the table won't shake so much. But there is a cover on the top of this thing. Where's this different though? Well, yours is a four by four, so it's short and stumpy. But it's still pretty much the same thing. Same thing with ours. Yeah, you're a four by four. <laughs> yeah. All wheel drive, baby. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to happen here, uh, we're done picking on that one. What I happen here is a snap ring that's coming around holding my bearing, and there's two little tabs sticking up. But if I spread those tabs out, it'll release the bearing, and this will just fall on the tape. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is any good pair of snap rings will do. I like this one because they have a nice flat edge. So I'm going to go in here, open it up. There it goes. Ouch. All that Slam. should be left inside of here is a bearing on the bottom and my snapper. So as long as that bearing's not shot, I can keep this thing. <laughs> Bazooka! <laughs> okay, this part right here though, we're not going to disassemble this tonight because what we have inside of it is an unusual setup. And what I mean by that is most clutches are applied by hydraulic pressure. There's a piston that pushes forward and squeezes them together. And yet I've got a clutch pack here, a clutch pack in here, and only one piston. So what this transmission does is, normally it has this whole set together, that's its direct drive in there. And there's a whole bunch of them. Some of these transmissions will have eight or nine clutches in there. And that's for your one-to-one -one going down the road. When I go into overdrive, what happens is, this piston pushes back, it collapses a spring that's in here, forces these clutches to let go, and squeezes these at the same time. Now what that means is, I've got a piston that came forward to squeeze these, but that whole time, I've got a very powerful spring trying to shut off my overdrive. 
So what ends up happening is the clamping force on these few clutches here is somewhat low. And so if I go driving down the freeway with this transmission with a whole bunch of weight behind me, that's going to slip and it's probably going to burn up. So that's how we run into these things and end up having to rebuild them. What you don't want to do, and they make it really hard, if not impossible, although somebody's going to prove me wrong one day, is pull out the snap ring here and one there. Those two snap rings in there are holding back a spring right now, a very large spring that's collapsed. And if I were to get those snap rings out, it's going to throw everything in here at me as hard as it can. So once this comes out, don't go in here picking at these snap rings. Like I said, I don't think anyone can get them out, but that's not a challenge. Mm -hmm. This one's all broken up. That's not the safest snap ring you'll ever see. So if you smash that on the table, you yeah, this one's just a little chewed up. I need to get a new snap ring in it. Okay, but here's what I want you to do. Go ahead and get your clutches out. Set this up on end. Put it over the leg. It's just going to stop the big bang and shake everything on your table. Pull the cover off and open up the snap ring.